Alright, so this is the Earthy Tarot reading. I'm actually doing it with Oracle cards, see how it works out, but um, I think it's pretty good. Um, so we have the Algite, we have the um, Clear Crystal, and we have the Layered Algite. I finally found out what that was. Still looks like a, a mountain, though. It'll be the mountain stone. Alright, so pick whichever one resonates and we'll get into the rating. Alright, Algites. Agate, uh, Algite, whatever. Um, <laughs> so let's see. Number one, how can you feel grounded during the day ahead? It could be the day or week. We have kindness. Okay, nurture friendships and those who bring out the best in you. Foster kindness, and that is what <laughs> you will attract. Yay, kindness. Alright, we have something um, you should make time for today. We have... In ingenuinely <laughs> ingenuous I don't know ingenuine okay you already have all the tools and resources you need um you have only to discover new ways to put them to use the crow reminds us to go above and beyond uh, the ordinary solutions so you might have to think outside of the box um, a little bit. Um, how can you embrace each moment and live in the present? We have in the moment. Um, so the tiger beetle moves so fast you might not notice him. When things are happening at the speed speed of life, slow down, take it all in and be in the moment. So, yeah. So, to embrace each moment, be in each moment, and actually embrace it for what it is. It could be as little bit as a flower growing, or blooming. You could take some time to appreciate it. Because it it's in your path for a reason, and it's how you react to it, which, um, you know, it kind of paints your day. <laughs> I'm not even in a joke about that. It's in a, you know, actually show how your day's going to unfold if you start to appreciate things around you. And it could also take some anxiety off you, too. All right, so we have, how can you remain connected to Mother Earth today? We have, um... Cheerfulness. Um, cheerfulness. No wall is ever too high for a tiny chipmunk. Let him in inspire you to embrace your sense of adventure and face each new situation with a cheerful optimism. So you might want to be a little bit optimistic about Mother Earth. Yeah. Alright, a message from Mother Earth. We have appreciation. Um, so, appreciation is friendly. Uh, this friendly frog is already eager to jump at an opportunity when it comes their way. So, <laughs> you might want to jump on certain things and certain projects. Maybe something new, something out of the box. Um, or something that you've never done before but always wanted to do. Um, so, it could be a lot of fun. Um, also, sometimes projects or, like, activities you want to do come out from a absolutely nowhere. Um, so, I would take the ideas and write them down on a piece of paper so you can do them all. Um, anyway, I hope this helps you out in some way. Group 1, it was a little bit different. Um, hopefully it was more inspirational than what I usually do. 
but I wanted to try this and have a little bit of fun with um, my animal cards, my animal uh, totems. So hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next reading, alright? Bye now. Alright, let's see. We have Crystal Group. Let's see. Alright, so how to feel more grounded during the day ahead. We have Joy. Okay, so a beautiful bluebird, um, bluebird's wings into a, okay, I'm gonna do that. A colorful bluebird wings into your world brings a small piece of heaven. His arrival ensures the blessings of joy you seek pass it on. So it could <laughs> just be you looking around and appreciating nature or, you know, something that you like. Um, could actually catch your eye, so that's cool. Um, something that you should make time for today. We have creation. Um, so creation, let the garden spider inspire you to manifest your life of creativity. Devote a little bit of time each day to your vision. Um, if you can dream it, you can weave it into reality. That's fun stuff. My cats are talking again, I'm sorry. Um, so. How can you embrace each moment and live in the present? We have face your fears. I hope everybody can see those. Okay, so face your fears. Night holds many mysteries. But fear not when you hear the flutter of bat wings against the evening sky for bats will protect you from pesky biting insects all right so yeah i used to have fruit bats eating like my peach trees outside i had to get rid of my peach trees there was too many bats on them but they're cool little things um so we have number four how can you remain connected to Mother Earth today? We have community. You might want to start a community garden or something. Okay, foster a community um, by helping others, sharing what you have, and um, welcoming all, even those who may be a little bit different from you. All right, we have number five, message from Mother Earth. We have cooperation or collaboration. <laughs> um, so when you collaborate your talents and skills to a, to a group effort, the results can be amazing. Don't underestimate your own strengths and talents. Okay? So group two, you might want to start like a um, community garden or a community charity, a community something or other. Maybe a community, um, you know, activation group. Some activists start off as, like, little volunteer groups, and then they go out into the world and actually go for some really big, um, things that are, you know, really affecting a lot of people. So, depends on what you want to do with your life, I guess. But, um, anyway, group two, I feel like this is the activist group, so you might want to do some, act, you know, charities or non-benefits, um, just to help people in your community, um, keep it self-contained in the community. Anyway, I will see you in the next reading, group two. Hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form, and I will see you in the next reading, alright? Bye now. We have layered algates. Alright, let's get into the reading. Alright, we have how to feel grounded during the day ahead. We have destiny. It's my destiny. Are you going on a Pokemon journey? <laughs> a theme song. Um, so when you trust your heart and need the signs, 
nothing will keep you from fulfilling your true destiny. Uh, you're exactly where you need to be on your journey. So you may be like kind of a little uh, lost at the moment or you might be feeling like nothing's working for you and it's the same old thing and the same old pattern and the same old day and on them and the men and the men. Same old stuff. Um, so. Alright, something <laughs> you should make, uh, make time for today. We have Earth. Just Earth. <laughs> so, let's see. Each season brings new reason to reconnect with Mother Earth. Observe nature with open eyes and uh, a welcoming heart. Honor all of uh, Mother Nature's creatures, both heavenly and humble, even the snake. Uh, <laughs> number three. Um, how can you embrace each moment and live in the present? We have wonder. So, it could be a bit of, like, a childish wonderlust, or it could just be, um, like, you wonder about certain things. Um, you know, like a child would, but through new eyes, maybe you haven't seen that perspective, or animals, or other things. Allow yourself to steer the sheer delight of seeing nature through the eyes of a child. Savor those simple moments of wonder. So, you might see something cool, or you might see, like, you know, cardinals playing in, like, the, those dandelion, uh, you know, fluffs. I think they're those, uh, wish things. But they, like, eat them and they fluff them and it's all over the place. But they have so much fun playing in that stuff. So you might want to watch that if you have, like, a park with a lot of dandelion flowers. It's really cool to watch them. Um, just play in that, those seeds and stuff. And they fly and all those stuff. All those little dandelion things. Yeah, we had, like, a field near, like, our house that was just covered in dandelions. It was really cool to see the birds play in them. Um, so, let's see. How can you remain connected to Mother Earth today? We have intuition. So, your eyes and ears may not tell you the whole story. Trust your intuition to reveal your soul's reality. So, spiritually, you're third eye sees more than like the metaphysical or the physical reality in which you have going on so um there could be a lot more than meets the eye so um you might want to just meditate on it or actually take a moment to slow down and actually see it for what it is all right so we have a message from mother earth we have the messenger Alright, the messenger. A flash of red against the snow attracts your attention so you know you have a visitor in the angelic, angelique, in the angel type realm, uh, the angelic realm. So welcome this messenger. Um, might want to put out seed for him. Um, so if somebody recently passed, usually the cardinal is kind of like that bird that's like, oh, let's go say hi to so-and-so. They're the ones that sing songs for you and stuff. So if you see one, know that that could be them. Sending you a telegram from, uh, from heaven or whatever your God deficiency or... I guess... I don't know what that's called. Divinity? Whatever your god divinity of heaven is. I feel like, you know, a lot of people don't see birds and stuff in that way. But usually birds are messengers from the great beyond. Or certain things that you see that you wouldn't usually see are messages that people overlook every day. So you might actually see something that you didn't see before. Anyway, group three, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next reading, alright? Bye now.